Hi everyone, so about a year ago I put together a series of v tutorials for Rhino just covering the absolute basics. Uh, since that time I've gotten a lot of views and a lot of comments. Uh, it seems to be pretty helpful for a lot of people. Um, and I myself have continued to look into new techniques in Rhino and, and put out additional tutorials on lighting and materials, night renderings. Um, now I've really moved forward and I'm using Rhino 5 and V-Ray 1.5, which is the new version of V-Ray that came out. Uh, Rhino 5 is still in beta, but it hopefully will be out later this year. And I thought it might be a good opportunity now to take a step back and, and make a new series of tutorials that look at the same things as before. If you're using Rhino 4 and are just getting into V-Ray rendering, you can follow along with these tutorials and, and most everything is going to translate one for one. Some of the visual elements, the menus and such, will be slightly different. Here's the material menu. Here's the, the actual breakdown for the V-Ray options. And this looks very much different than the V-Ray 4, V-Ray 1.0 for Rhino 4 versions. Um, but when we get into it, it's almost identical. So I think this could still be useful for someone in Rhino 4 with V-Ray Run, V-Ray, excuse me, V-Ray 1. Um, but it would also be good for looking at the, the new possibilities with Rhino 5. So to cover all of that, um, I've modeled up the Barcelona Pavilion here. Um, and, and this would be good because we'll be able to cover the absolute most basic settings and work through each of the different elements and how they can be used and then continue to evolve this model and this render uh, and work on HDRI, lighting, how to make our own custom materials and put in the granite book matched um, kind of stone along these walls. So hopefully this series will cover everything from the most basic uh, principles all the way through the most advanced. Uh, we'll get started with those right now. So with V-Ray, um, it's just a rendering option that we come down and, and if we pick render we can set our current render to Rhino Render or V-Ray for Rhino. Uh, V-Ray for Rhino is much much better than the basic Rhino Render but takes quite a bit longer. Um, once you set that up, you get these new options here and, and this is a toolbar that would be Rhino 4 or Rhino 5 in uh, what we have is uh, material editor, uh, V-Ray options, these set up how our camera lighting and algorithms work to solve the rendering. We have the rendering frame which would actually show you know, what was last rendered in that frame. Uh, we have the render button. With Rhino 5 we have a real-time renderer which will allow us to update the model in real time. We can get into that a little later. We have an infinite plane which basically puts in a horizon line for anything. We have a sun system, a V-Ray light system. A new feature with Rhino 5 is this, it's a proxy object. So say I had a, another file um, that was the trees. I could bring in proxy trees and kind of lighten the load on this render by using proxy objects. Uh, we have the about. Uh, and then I also have a series of lights. This is just a panel that got brought up when I turned Rhino on. Uh, so in the next video tutorial, we're going to go through uh, options and just talk briefly about the V-Ray rendering options.